The Buddha inspires due to his noble message of peace. His philosophies have led to him being revered as a universal icon of peace and love, and has resulted in the spawning of an entirely new faith that to this day remains one of the world's top religions. His entire message revolved around love and inner as well as outer peace. And he spent his life trying to get people to live happily and correctly. What makes the Buddha so inspiring as a speaker is his understanding of the use of language as a, as a means to help bring about change in people's lives. He understood that the right words at the right time could mean all the difference to the right people. Um, His methods and beliefs in speaking were commendable. He always advocated speaking truthfully without any sort of falsehood or deceits that could be seen as malicious. Buddha said that words have the power to both heal and destroy. And when words are both true and kind, they can change our lives. By challenging contemporary thought on living and the, nation, the notion of oneself, the Buddha, through his persuasive teachings, ushered in a new era of philosophy and moral thinking that has led to the foundation for many of the moral values that we hold today. What the Buddha professed was a message that transcended anything else that was being thought of at the time. His idea of benevolence toward others, as well as his ways in as well as his ways in preaching them, has revolutionized philosophical thinking in such a way that an axial age had come about at the time. This turning point marked the beginning of, of true philosophy and moral thinking. Lo the notion of love and peace existed before, but it wasn't until the Buddha with his ways of speaking that it really became a big issue for people's lives. So... Today we've discussed the Buddha, um, why we chose him, the significance of his speeches. And I hope that this has taught you about what the Buddha did and what he contributed to society in the realms of philosophy and moral thinking. Thank you.